last. I've been waiting for you. Oh, we're leaving, I see. Didn't I just know you'd desert me? Really, Jane, you are so predictable. Couldn't you be just a little more original? I'm talking to you. Where are you going? Away, sir. Where? Please let go of my arm. Not until you tell me where you're going. I do not know where I'm going. Oh, anywhere, so long as it's far away from me, is that it? And why? I'll tell you why. Because you were only interested in becoming Mrs. Rochester. That's why. Please give me my back. Oh, you were never in love with me, Jane. You were in love with the idea of being mistress of Thorfinn. Admit it. You're no better than Blanche Ingram, running away like a spoiled child. I mean, if you can't find your way. I thought you were not sure, but you're just a child who has no idea what real love is. I would have done anything for you. Anything. I was prepared to commit bigamy because I knew that being married was important to you. And they could have thrown me in prison, I wouldn't have cared. But I just wanted to make you happy. Please let go of my arms. Look me in the eyes and tell me you don't love me and you can walk free. Say it. No. Better still. Here. Where you pour out your heart to me. Look me in the face and tell me all that was a lie. It's not me who's told the lies. I have no secret husband. I have always been honest with you. I've always wanted to be honest with you, Jane, but how could I tell you when I knew it would drive all happiness away from me? Look at me, Jane. Tell me you don't love me, and you can go. I can't tell you that, because I do love you. I wanted to be your wife because I love you, not for any other reason. And I love you more than I've ever loved anyone Please in my whole life. Please don't say that. Why not if it's the truth? You must never say it to me again, and I must never say it to you. It is wrong. But how can it be wrong when the two of us love each other as we do? It is wrong for us not to be together. I am a plain, living person, Mr. Rochester. Oh, Mr. I Rochester, I wanted someone who now? I could love honestly and decently, and someone who could love me back properly. Well, it doesn't I, matter who I it is. I thought I had that with you, but I was wrong. You led me to believe you were one person, but you are really another. I am the same as I always was. The same heart, the same mind. You are a married man! But I'm still me! And when we danced together, happy and carefree in the drawing room, all the time you knew your wife was locked up there. How could you? What would you have me do, Jane? Devote the rest of my life to her? I could never trust you again. So you're going to punish me instead? Condemn me to live wretched and die a curse. Do you think this is easy for me? Do you think I am happy to see you suffering when every nerve in my body is telling me to comfort you? If I could find a way in my soul of reconciling this situation, I would in a moment. But I cannot throw away any respect I have for myself because my heart is tempted. You have a wife. You belong to another. I belong to you. And you belong to me. We are one soul, Jane. Please help me. Please don't say that. Please help me to be strong. If you only knew how much I love you. Kiss me. I need you, Jane. You want me. I can feel your passions are aroused. Say you want me. Say it. No, I can't. How can I lie with you knowing that I'm not your wife? Well, we simply go abroad and we tell people you are my wife. Who's to know any different? Me! I will know it. I would have to live with my own conscience, and that would eat away at my soul till I was no longer Jane Eyre, but some embittered mistress who you resented being with. I am worth more than that. I would never, never resent being with you, Jane. Leaving you will be the most painful thing I have ever had to endure. But I would rather die and watch the love we have twist into something ugly. I am leaving for us, Edward, for what we have. Not for me, Jane. You're leaving for yourself. And if that's how you truly feel, then go. Go on. That's it. Walk away. You think what we have is nothing? But let me tell you, this is the greatest, purest love you will ever find. And I should know. 
I've searched long enough for it! 